My name is Jimmy Earl. I'm a Filipino from Canada. Thank you so much for that, yeah. I was... Also turned, just turned 46. No, no woo, no woo. I'm starting to do old people shit and it creeps up on me. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. So I'm from Sacramento, I'm driving on the five and you're supposed to look at your blind spot when you change lanes. I can't do that shit anymore. I pull a weird muscle right here. This is what I do when I change lanes though. I just go, fuck it. You know what else I do as I'm getting older? I give blood on a regular basis. No, cause in my 46 year old head, the more I give blood, my cholesterol should stay low. <laughs> Word of advice if you give blood, don't take your wife and you go give blood. Yeah, cause some of the screening questions they ask you, right? Gets you in trouble, my wife over here zipped through the questions no problem, then they got to me. <laughs> Have you ever had sex with a prostitute? Have you ever had sex with a pro? I heard you. No. Have you ever participated in homosexual activities? I had a wine cooler back in 93. Yeah, super gay, right? So I grew up in the 80s, where my 80s people at? Who grew up right there? 80s. Fun music, right? Did you like the music? Yeah, but it was a decade though of safe sex STDs, right? Remember the 80s? So here's the deal. If you listen to every 80s song very, very closely, there's like this safe sex STD message in every 80s song. Who remembers Thompson Twins? Remember Thompson Twins? Yeah. Doctor, doctor. Can't you see it's burning, burning? <laughs> who remembers Ario Speedwagon? Got it from a friend who, who got it from a friend who got it from another who was fucking around. Remember Naked Eyes? And there's always something there to remind me. Yeah, prove my point. I, know. I don't know, things are changing as I'm getting older. Things are evolving. Culture at the workplace is evolving, right? Because of all this sexual misconduct, right? This week, a female, yeah, this week, a female coworker said good morning to me. You know what I told her? I'm not falling for that shit. <laughs> You know what else is evolving? You know what else is evolving? Customer service, right? It's probably the shittiest ever. Now, I don't know. Okay, let me give you an example. I ordered an Egg McMuffin from an Asian lady behind the counter. She's given me attitude because I can't understand her. Have you experienced this? Because apparently when you order an Egg McMuffin, you have a choice of a round egg or a folded egg. Did you know that? I had no idea. No idea. Good morning, I like an orange juice and an Egg McMuffin, please. Do you want round egg or for the egg? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is your problem? You want round egg or for the egg? <laughs> One. <laughs> Listen to me, round egg or for the egg. Round egg or for. Back up, calm down. Can I talk to your manager, please? Manager comes over, straightens it all out. Yo, yo, sup, yo? 
Man, you want an Egg McMuffin with a round egg or a folded egg player? Shit. <laughs> Finally, someone who could speak English. That's... <laughs> oh, man. Married now 23 years of marriage? No, woo, actually. Because here's the deal, 20 plus years of marriage, my wife gives me mixed messages all the time. Mixed messages, let me give you an example. So she comes running up to me, Jimbo, do you tell your friends what we do in bed? Do you kiss and tell? No, I respect what we have. Do you know what she does Saturday mornings at Starbucks with her friends? Hear her laugh, she was there. <laughs> Faces husbands make while making love. Yeah, apparently one husband is the jogger. <laughs> yeah, apparently I'm the dumper. I think I shit my pants just there. You know what else she does? She does these things. She does this, she likes, does things that kill the mood when we're being intimate. I call them boner killers. She likes to do that. Okay, so we're doing it, right? Let me give you an example. We're doing it and she, I'm on top and she starts doing this to my arms. <laughs> Sweetie, what the hell? Someone needs to start toning up their guns. You know what else she does? She likes music and candles while we're doing it. So I'm on top, we're doing my thing. I look over at the candle. The price tag is still there, $40. <laughs> Sweetie, what the hell, $40, what the hell? It's a meet me in Tahiti from Bath and Body. Any chance could we meet at the dollar store? Is that possible? She bought three, ma'am. Yeah, strawberries and cream, summer s'mores. <laughs> and meet me in Tahiti, $120 on candles. So I'm buying the candles now. I am going to the dollar store, different scents. Dingleberries and cream. <laughs> summer sores. Meet me in Barstow, cause here's, you guys having fun? You guys having fun tonight? Oh, man. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. I, actually, I didn't drive from Sacramento, I actually flew. I flew from Stockton, I flew Allegiant Air. Yeah, it's a really bad airline, really, right? It's the shittiest airline, uh, but pilots don't even let their family members fly the shitty airline. But you can go to Stockton to Vegas, Stockton to like Arizona for like 50 bucks. So it's like ri worth risking your life. Right? <laughs> but here's the deal about Allegiant pilots. You know when they make the announcements on the speaker, you know, and then I swear to God, they make those, it sounds like to me, they're like getting blowjobs up there. <laughs> Have you heard this? Those pilots are like, bing. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your captain. <laughs> Earth over 30,000 feet. <laughs> Folks, we'll be arriving. Folks, we'll be arriving at our destination. <laughs> A little prematurely. I have to stay at shitty hotel rooms because I have to watch my hotel budget. I could feel like bed bugs crawl on me. Oh. I know. Here's the deal, because when I stay at ratty hotel rooms, my body shuts down, I break into a rash. I get clammy, right? And I, I, I get constipated. <laughs> yeah, so here's the deal. You know your hotel room is seriously ghetto when you're sitting on the toilet and you can't go, because even your shit's like, Oh, hell no. 
I'm gonna hold out for an AM, PM. Or something. <laughs> you guys have been great, thank you so much. <laughs>